On tonight's Love Island, yeah, Maura finally gets a chance to kiss Tommy Fury. And she took that chance with both hands. She sealed it, grabbed it, locked it, and that was it. That was, listen, yeah, she sucked off his face like a Dyson Hoover with a, with a turbo suction. She took that chance. L listen, yeah, she sucked off his, if she could have sucked off other things, she would have. But she sucked off his face differently. She took it, and Molly was stood there just staring at her with, with a piercing look. If she had a javelin or a spear or something, she would have dashed it in her skull. But, do you know what I'm saying? In that Bridezilla challenge that they had to do right then and there, Mora won in it. Because she got what she wanted. She kissed Tommy, finally. In other news, Tommy and Lucy were playing some mad games tonight. They kept whispering in each other's ears. Tommy would whisper in Lucy's ear. Lucy would giggle a little bit. Then he'd whisper, whisper some more. Then she'd giggle some more. And then they walked off and they were whispering some more and stuff. And even the girls was wondering what's going on. And Joe, as you can imagine, because he's coupled up with Lucy. And he's in love with her. And he's moving like he's been married with her, to her for like the last 10 years. He started getting jealous. And started getting mad. As you can imagine. Do you know what I'm saying? See Joe, yeah? I used to really, really like Joe because I thought he was a nice, sincere guy. He sells sandwiches. He can't be that bad, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, this guy is mad possessive. Like, he's proper, he's one of them controlling guys, isn't it? Bro, she can't, what, she, she's not allowed to talk to other guys. What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? You're not even her boyfriend. You're just coupled, with her, coupled up with her on some, on some game show. Bro, this ain't even real. Once you get out, you realise, come on, man, fix up, man. Listen. The way Tommy, the way um, uh, Joe was moving tonight was disgusting. He's one of, the way he was moving was disgusting. She can't, she don't like talking to the girls. So she don't deal with girls. I know a lot of girls that don't deal with girls. You know what I'm saying? They just hang with guys. We call them hoes. And I'm joking. There's a lot of girls that genuinely don't deal with girls, which is cool. Like girls are bitchy. So she don't hang with the girls. But now she goes and start like hanging with the guys. And this guy's got a problem with it. Do you know what I'm saying? So she's stuck in the middle of nowhere. She's stuck between like a rock and a hard place. And this girl's already like, she's, she's, she's a soft-hearted person. Do you know what I'm saying? So all these things, in, in my opinion, is just crushing Lucy. It's breaking her, breaking her down. The whole thing with Amy, all that is breaking her down. And it's, not, it's really not good. It's really not good. Like, uh, Joe's one of them guys, like, she won't be allowed to even talk to herself. If she was talking to, her, to herself, he'll be asking why he wasn't in on the conversation. You know what I'm saying? He, like, he, he needs to let loose and just chill a little bit. It's a game show. She's not even your real girlfriend, bro. You don't even known her for that long. Joe's so controlling. You know he's definitely not up for a swingers party, innit? He's not up for a swingers party. There's no way he's sharing. He's up for... A, the only swingers he's having is when he's punching up a man for even talking to, to his girls. Do you know what I'm saying? In the Bridezilla challenge, yeah, Lucy went ham on Amy. All her frustrations, yeah, she took it out. She was beating her up with the food. She was slapping her in her face with the cheesecake. She was dashing the profiteroles at her and all sorts. Do you know what I'm saying? If there was a cucumber, a cucumber there, she would have slapped her around the chops with it. Amy, um, Lucy got her frustrations out, innit? Amy went off crying after. <laughs> Look at me. Man, shut up, man. Do some press up, man up. So if it was a food fight, what are you crying for, man? These girls are too soft, man. They need to, I swear, do some press-ups, man. Do, for real, man. You don't notice how you one day didn't really get involved in a food fight. I mean, they was all having fun. She was there a little bit, but she didn't get involved. You know why? That weave she was wearing, that Brazilian weave, that cost an arm and a leg. And if you get any food on that, she will break an arm and a leg. Real talk. Like, don't mess with that, innit? Do not mess with a black chick in her hair. They pay too much for that. You get what I mean? That kind of hair is made to order. Like, six month waiting list, probably a year. Some girls, I, mean, I know some girls have been waiting five years for hair. Do you know what I'm saying? Just walking around bold and shit. But, listen, she didn't get involved in that food fight, innit? Like, she, I like that, I like that. Do you know what I'm saying? That, just ducking, ducking the food, do you know what I'm saying? Anna was crying tonight. And I laughed. I'm, I, do you know what? I'm a bad person. I know I'm a bad person. I'm probably going to go to hell. But when she cried, I kind of laughed a little bit. But, like, you was into Sharif. Now you're into Anton. Why are you crying over Anton? You're not even into Anton. Like, her, Sharif and Anton are like two different opposites. But, okay, Anton already knew that. He's not dumb. And as soon as Elmo came in, he went for Elmo. Do you know what I'm saying? Because Elmo was more his type. Like, you got fake ass, fake hips, fake hair, fake lip, fake head. Nobody knows the real you. Even you don't know the real you. But 
I'm sorry for the pain that you went through tonight. It caused me a bit of laughter. I'm very sorry about that. Quick question, yeah? Do you not think Curtis is straight? Do you think he's like heterosexual? I think he moves a bit homo. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't know. I think he's hiding something. I think he's in the closet. Trust me. We don't even see him most of the time on the show. He's he's in the closet. Trust me. But what do you lot think? What do you lot think? I don't know. Did you not see the way Mora shoved the mo the lollipop in her mouth when she was looking at Tommy in some suggestive way? She should have choked on that lolly or got some sort of brain freeze or something like. Dumb girl. Like, you look dumb. You look absolutely stupid. You're 28 years old. You're behaving like this over a 20-year-old guy. Come on, man. Have some respect, stupid chick. Idiot. Come on, man. Fix up, man. Do you know how you look on TV? Why do you look so desperate? Listen, Mora, yeah? Oh, man. I don't even know what to say about her, man. But it's entertaining television, so I'm going to keep watching. But... She's an idiot. She looks like an idiot. I'm not even going to lie. She looks like an idiot. She looks dumb, embarrassing. And that's why Tommy, yeah, sorry, next year, I want to talk about the recoupling. Recoupling happened tonight and the boys was in total control, innit? The usual people went for the usual people. So Curtis went for Amy. Um, Michael went for Amber. Anton. Anton. I already, everyone knew that because he was getting close to Elmer, that he was going to pick Elmer. He was never into Anna. He was never into Anna. Do you know what I'm saying? Only Sharif. Sharif. Only Sharif was going to be into Anna. It takes a special person to be into Anna. Um, who else? So, um, Tommy picked Molly over Mora. We knew that. Because Mora, she was just coming on way too strong. Way, way too strong. Like, in the end, in the end like, he was swerving kisses from her. Like, how uh, how um, um, Tommy's brother Tyson was swerving punches last night. He was literally swerving, ducking the kisses. Do you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, he picked um, Molly, which people were shocked about. But a lot of people also wasn't shocked about. And um, that's it, innit? So, Anton, Michael. Oh, obviously, Danny picked you one day, you had to pick you one day, if you hadn't picked you one day, listen, the whole of Peckham, Brixton, everyone would have come looking for you tonight, uh, they would have been outside that island, I don't care if it's pre-recorded, they would have found some way to find Danny tonight, innit, do you know what I'm saying, but that was tonight, but we all fought Anna, and um, listen, I was glad to see the back of Mora, I didn't want to see the back of her, because she had nothing to look at, literally walking away, flat, pancake, but I, I wanted to see the back of her, like literally gone, like, she's an idiot. She was making a fool out of herself. She's probably even embarrassing her own people. Like, how, in what way is what you're doing sexy or even entertain? Like, it's entertaining, but it's not sexy at all, yeah? But we thought we were seeing the back of them tonight, Anna and uh, Anna and um, Mora. But it turns out there's two other guys and there's, there, it's getting interesting, isn't it? It's getting mad, mad interesting. What are you not thinking? It's, I think it's getting juicy. I'm about, like, listen, I can't even sleep tonight. I think I'm going to stay up just thinking about it like this. Interesting, interesting, Smithers. Interesting. <laughs> what you don't think is your boyfriend stones. Holler at me, man. 